I left the Philippines in 69. That's where I went to boot camp and Naval Training Center. And I was fortunate enough to be part of the uh, 200 company. I was raised from the seaman and I made it to the senior district advisor. With no college degree, New Year, but I made it to the top. I was recruited in the uh, military. My family was so happy about it, and they knew that will be a, a beginning of new life for me and for them as well. If you are doing something because you know you are doing for the, for the good of your country, you have to focus on what you're doing. You have to love what you're doing. At the same time, you have to separate your feeling about what's going on about your family back home. I believe that the, the U.S. military or the American presence in the Philippines has affected us in a broad sense. It opened up a lot of avenues for Filipinos uh, when it came to education, um, jobs, even um, relationship building. Um, Filipinos have uh, become more open to other countries. I want to reach out to the Filipinos uh, and the Filipino community to, to know uh, that they can make a difference and I want to empower them and inspire them in, in many ways so that uh, they'll never be, you know, they, they don't have to be afraid to, to take that step, to be able to be passionate about, you know, what they do. The Filipinos move into the, the, whatever status they came, but they're here, and they were able to enjoy the things that we have here. The freedom that you cannot get from anything.